What's up guys, welcome back. So in this video, I wanna work on um, our swipes. So right now we just have toasts happening. So here's our application, swipe left, swipe right. Now I wanna be able to add new restaurants, show new pictures when I'm swiping different directions. Okay, so let's get right into it. So we're gonna have four different methods. When they swipe upwards or on swipe top, which is like this. Oops. Uh, what we'd like to do is show a new picture of the same dinosaur's restaurant. So let's make a function called uh, same restaurant new pic. When we swipe down, we'd like the same restaurant but a previous picture. So same restaurant, previous picture, when we swipe this way, when we swipe this way to the left, we want a new restaurant. So new restaurant, and when we swipe to the right, we would like um, to get the last restaurant. Okay, so let's implement these methods. Let's create that. Create you. So if you just, if you, uh, on a Mac, if you do Alt and then Enter, it'll pop up this little menu. And then it lets you, oops. You can just auto make these method stubs or you can make them yourselves. Okay. So let's do uh, same restaurant, previous picture. But actually, let's, let's start with a uh, new restaurant. <clears throat> so the first thing we're gonna do is first check if um, we already have the new restaurant loaded. Um, so if m restaurants dot size is greater than the current position, or equal to. So we gain the current size of the restaurant. So let's say we have five restaurants. Um, if i is equal to five, then we don't want to do anything. But if i is, so okay, we, do, we want a strict less than. So if i is strictly less than, so it's four or less, um, then we can increment. So i plus plus. Um, this can overflow us because what can happen is let's say we're uh, in restaurants. So first we want to check if room. So we can only want to increment uh, new restaurants when we actually have space. If we don't have space, we don't want increment. So we can actually just do minus one. So this this makes sure that um, there's enough room. So if there's four restaurants, i is equal to three. Um, four minus three, it will, this will evaluate to false, um, and that's what we want. So if you're at the third, if i is equal to three, it means you're on the fourth restaurant, um, and then you'd like to stop. When they click, when new restaurant is triggered, you do not want to show them another um, restaurant. But assuming they're uh, not at the end, you do I plus plus, and then we're just gonna do wait for restaurant being true. And that'll just show the restaurant. Next, what happens if we do get to the end of the list? We would like to be loading more restaurants as we're going through. 
So we're going to do a little check. First thing we want to do is check when was the last time we did an update. So we'll create a variable called iLast. And that's going to be set to when we did our last update. So iLast is equal to zero because that would be our first update. So now we want to make sure, because what can happen is they can swipe backwards and forwards, so we don't want to just do counting. We want to make sure um, they're past a certain point. So let's say i minus i last is greater than 5. And what else do we want to check when we do an update? Um, mrestaurants.size minus i is less than 7. So what this is checking for is it's been at least five images since our last update and we're getting really close to the end of the restaurant. There's only like seven left till we get to the end. Um, in that case, we would like to um, load more restaurants. So we're going to create a new... Uh, the way we load new restaurants is by using um, fetch recipes or fetch pictures I mean and then we do execute now you notice in our fetch pictures right now um, we don't, we're not accepting any parameters but what we can do is we can add an extra param to our Yelp search that says the page that we want to so we can put something called an offset and we can do params zero. So what we can do is we can pass the offset as a parameter to our async. Um, what we want to pass here is 40. So in our exec we want to pass in 40. And the first one we want to do we want to pass in zero. So what this number is that we're passing in is the offset. So when we get when we pass in zero, this will get the first 40 restaurants. And then when we pass here, we want to get the next 40 restaurants and we keep incrementing it like that. So what we need to do is we want to set a counter. R count, we can call it. Int r count. So r count is equal to 40. And then we increment r count plus equal 40. And that'll just keep going to the next section of restaurants. The other thing we can do is just do make sure we're getting 40 restaurants, is to put a limit of 40. Okay, so this will fetch us 40 restaurants. We'll get the first 40, then we'll get the next 40, and so on and so forth. So as we're swiping for new restaurants, we're just swiping through, and in the back end round, we are loading restaurants. To get the last restaurant, we first check if M restaurants. No, we don't check M restaurants. Well, we check i and make sure i is greater than zero. Strictly greater. If i is, we say i minus minus, and then we do wait for restaurant. So same restaurant previous picture is the same thing. So if get the current restaurant, so restaurant r is equal to m restaurant dot get i. Say r dot pictures dot size. Actually, we don't need to check. We don't even need to check how many pictures we have. Just the current picture. Say that's greater than zero. If it's greater than zero, 
we can say r dot decrement parent picture and then we can say wait for restaurant true and then the only other thing is we just need to check in our callback okay we are getting the current picture cool now for the next restaurant so this is this this is covered for the downward case now we need to go forward for the next one similarly we need to create an uh, I last in here so oops private and I last and we set I last equal to zero and let's create some getters and setters for this guy generate So in this new picture, what we're going to do is we're going to make sure it's not overflowing. So if, so first get the current restaurant. So restaurant r is equal to m restaurants dot get i. So if r dot get uh, pictures dot size minus one is greater than r dot get pictures get current picture then what we can do is we can do increment current picture and then we can wait for restaurant and then similarly to up here we need to load more pictures for the restaurant and to tell when to load it and also uh, we're going to check when the last time we loaded pictures. So r.get curve pick minus r.get i last. That's greater than 5. And r.get current pictures, get pictures dot size minus r.get current picture is less than seven then we want to download more pictures in the back end and then set our uh, I last set I last is equal to current picture and then of course so now the actual downloading of more pictures we'll do in a different video Let's just go ahead and run our code. Install requires the platform of course. Okay. All packages are not available. All right, let's see what's going on with this. Okay, it looks like it's running now. Okay, so we'll run this on our device. And now if we swipe, we should be getting new pictures when we swipe to the left. We should be getting an old picture when we're swiping to the right and so on. So we can just wait for this thing to load and then we can start swiping like that. And we should be getting a new picture instead of getting a toast now. So we'll just like Dreidel finish building there. So things that we have left to do, um, download more pictures. We also would like to uh, get the location of the user. So in the next video after this, uh, we're actually going to get the location of the user using their phone. We'll have to add something to the manifest file to allow us to get that. And then we can get their latitude and longitude. And so the user just, you know, is using their phone, they're out, and they can get all the restaurants nearby them. Okay. Gradle build error, installing APK, device offline. Oh, it looks like just the device is offline. So I'm just going to restart this. So I'm using Jenny Motion.
stir back up. Start that back up and we'll run that for you guys. But we are very close to finishing this app up. One other thing I want to add in real quick while we're waiting for this to load up. Let's full screen that. Um, is right here. Just want to catch another error. It goes like area. Let me let me check the GitHub real quick. There's one other unavailable area. So catch unavailable location. So this is when we're fetching the location for Yelp. If the area is unavailable, I just want to make a toast real quick that says your area and let's okay, so that's up. Let me get this building. Your area, we'll just say no no data available for your area. No data available for your area. Okay, so this was this is happening in our async tax when we go to fetch pictures. Um, sometimes we can't, uh, when we add in this new location stuff next video, um, the data, we can't help it if they give us a bad longitude or latitude. In that case, we don't find anything. And we just want to give them a little toast and let them know that, uh, that we have no data available for them. So that's, we want to catch that. Okay. See if it's running. And it looks like it is. Very cool. So I'm just going to swipe. Cool, shows us a new restaurant, dinosaurs. Swipe again, shows us another one. Swipe upwards, very cool. We're getting new restaurants. If I swipe the other way, I'm going back to that same dinosaurs picture, showing me that. Keep swiping, keep swiping. So we're getting very close, look at that. It's working very nicely. We are able to swipe, we're getting the pictures. New pictures, we can swipe backwards to see the previous ones, and it's keeping the location. So I'm on this like third picture, swipe, swipe back. Um, so this is looking really nice, guys. So in the next video, we're going to get that location working and uh, finish up this app pretty soon.